Hey folks, Ira here. Hope you've had a great week. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report, where we are covering earthquake activity spanning from March the 3rd through March the 4th. Thought you'd like to know that today, March the 5th, is Multiple Personality Day. So remember guys, when you wish someone happy Multiple Personality Day, you may need to do so a few times. Okay, that isn't funny. Moving on, you came here for earthquake information, I'm going to provide it to you. Let's jump into it, shall we? Over the past two days, we have seen well over 439 earthquakes, 11 of which fell within the magnitude 5 range, the most intense being a 5.6 that struck Indonesia. Going down the list, we saw a movement in Japan with a 5.2, Morocco and the Strait of Gibraltar saw a 5, and Papua New Guinea with two earthquakes, which averaged a 5.2. Fiji also experienced an earthquake well above a 5.0, a 5.3 actually, with a depth of, get this, 380 miles. Isn't that amazing? I wonder if they even felt it. Huh, I don't know. We experienced 23 earthquakes, which fell within the range of a magnitude 4.0 through a 4.9. Looking to South America, we see that Chile was rocked with 4, averaging a 4.4. Japan saw 3 in this range, with an average being a 4.3. Returning our attention to Indonesia, we learned that they continue to experience aftershocks since the 7.8 unsettled the area on Wednesday, February the 2nd. Five aftershocks averaged 4.6, with four of them being dead center of the Sumatra Island and the Bay of Bengal. By the way, did you know that the Bay of Bengal is the largest bay in the world? It covers well over 800,000 square miles. Isn't that wild? I had no idea until today. So if we take a look at the earthquakes which fell in the magnitude 3.0 range, we'll begin to focus our attention on the states and closer to home. Puerto Rico made the list with a 3.7 on Thursday. Oregon has woke up from her slumber with a 3.5 in Lakeview also on Thursday. And finally, Fairview, Oklahoma was shaken with a 3.5 as well. When we filter our earthquake data to only focus on quakes between a 2 and a 2.9, we see a substantial increase. 49 over the past two days. Alaska leading the pack with 19, six of which hit Anchor Point. Oklahoma coming in with 10, six of which struck Fairview. And California with eight, Ludlow and the Mammoth Lakes area leading the pack. Now we've talked about the uh, Mammoth Lakes area before, but did you know that Mammoth Lakes is just outside of Mammoth Mountain? Mammoth Mountain is a lava dome complex which hasn't erupted in over 50,000 years. But get this, it still produces toxic gas that kills trees, and it even killed a ski patroller back in 2006. Now that is wild. Changing gear, let's break down the number of quakes by location. Care to take a guess as to which area experienced the most activity over the past two days? Think about it for a second, and in a moment we'll provide you with the answer. Alaska experienced 69 quakes in total. Average magnitude over this period was at 1.7. Nevada has been busy as well with over 39 quakes. Once again, all were very minor with an average of a 0.54. Oklahoma experienced 24 quakes, averaging a 2.0. Interestingly enough, 20 of which were from Fairview. Hawaii came in with 15 with an average of a 1.4. Washington clocked in 13 quakes spanning from Eatonville, Morton, and Packwood. Yellowstone has been busy with earthquakes striking Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. Between the three states, they clocked in 13, which averaged a 1.2. Now back to our quiz question. The area in which experienced the most movement was California. Over the past two days, they have had over 203 quakes. The geysers experienced 51 tremors alone, followed up with Mammoth Lakes with 30. Cobb, which we spoke of in a previous video, registered 25. The magnitude of these quakes were all very minor, below a M1. What is important here, though, is the simple fact that there is so much movement occurring in these areas and around our dormant volcano fields. Also, 203 quakes over the past two days is rather low. For the past month, we've been clocking in well over 150 per day. It's very interesting. Our location of interest today comes to us from Redlands, California. 
Redlands is located in San Bernardino County and as of 2013 has a population of 69,000. Now, get this, I've actually visited this area um, last year while on vacation. We stayed with my wife's grandparents and we traveled all around California. At least that was the plan. The second day into the, our trip, I was food poisoned to the point in which I was bedridden at her grandparents' place for the entire week. I really missed the entire vacation. I was stuck with them the entire time. Now, they are great people, but you can imagine my situation. The family continued on without me, and I was alone in their house. So, uh, you know, if you have ever been in a situation like this before, I'd like for you to post down below, because it is comedy gold for sure. Anyways, enough of that. Back to Redlands. This place has a fascinating history. The first settler in the area is recorded to have erected a hut at the corner of what is now Cajun Street and Cypress Avenue. He was a sheep herder, and the time was back in 1865. Isn't that wild? I mean, when you think about it, it wasn't that long ago. Anyways, this area was struck with a 2.6 on Thursday. The most recent major earthquake that affected the area occurred on October the 17th, 1989 when the San Andreas Fault essentially bent and caused a thrust fault to be created. Even though this quake struck along a remote segment of the Santa Cruz Mountains, 64 people were still killed, 16,000 homes were deemed uninhabitable, and the Cypress Freeway in Oakland collapsed. Wow. Before we wrap things up, I'd like to throw a shout out to Timothy and Mean Dean. Okay, I made up the nickname because that's what I do for some reason. Anyways, thanks for the comments, fellas. It has been great talking to you both. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today or over the past few days, please post below. We'd like to hear about it. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. We'll talk to you soon. Hoorah!